The Prince of Wales and Duchess of Cornwall today give their enthusiastic backing to the Daily Mail's hospital volunteering campaign. In a rare joint statement, Charles and Camilla hailed the initiative as an outstanding example of the British spirit that will make a real difference to people's lives. The royal endorsement came as the number of readers who have signed up to the volunteer drive last night passed the 25,000 mark. This means that the time pledged so far will give the health service more than 1.4 million hours of additional, voluntary support from ordinary people next year. Paying tribute to the UK's long and proud history of volunteering, Charles and Camilla praise the many wonderful, selfless people willing to give their time to help others. And they say volunteers have an incredible impact on the NHS, providing vital support to one of our most cherished institutions. The Mail's campaign, in conjunction with the charity Help Force, has generated an extraordinary public response since its launch earlier this month. Readers have been asked to volunteer to help at a hospital for either three hours a week, or one eight-hour day a month, for a minimum of six months. Those who pledge their time are being matched with a local NHS trust to fulfill one of hundreds of possible volunteer roles, from patient befrienders to hospital guides. The placements are due to start in the spring. In their statement, Charles and Camilla predict the mail's campaign will make a difference for years to come. Charles has long supported volunteering, even personally helping with Her Majesty's Coast Guard while at school in Scotland. As well as his work with the Prince's Trust, Charles is also patron of the youth charities Step Up to Serve and Youth United. Charles and Camilla say today, the National Health Service is one of our most cherished institutions, providing care and support for those who need it whatever their circumstances and wherever they may be. As my wife and I travel around the country, we often have the opportunity to visit hospitals and to meet the dedicated staff who make this great institution what it is. We also hear, at first hand, of the incredible impact that volunteers have on the organization through the support that they give to frontline staff. Indeed my own organizations, Step Up to Serve and Youth United, are both already involved in NHS volunteering programs so I am well aware of the difference such work can make. The statement continues, We are a nation that has a long and proud history of volunteering, and my wife and I are constantly struck by the dedication of so many wonderful, selfless people who are giving such service in this country. This newspaper's Help Force campaign is another example of that spirit and the service to the people of the United Kingdom. Its success will make a real difference to so many people's lives in the months and years to come. Experts have warned that Britain's aging population, and the growing complexities in healthcare, mean volunteering has an increasingly vital role to play in supporting the NHS and freeing up professional staff to do the work they need to do. The initiative has been backed by healthcare leaders, unions and politicians since its launch on December 1. Officials have confirmed it will form a key part of NHS England's imminent long-term plan, with proposals to double the current health force over the next three years. Health Secretary Matt Hancock has also announced plans to make it easier for the public to get involved in volunteering. He is championing a scheme to bring in volunteer passports to slash bureaucracy and speed up the process of registering as a helper, which currently takes between three and six months. The passports, being built as a smartphone app, aim to condense this down to a month. It will also enable those helping in hospitals to work in another part of the NHS without having to register again. Theresa May lauded the campaign as fantastic while Archbishop of Canterbury Justin Welby praised volunteers for providing a shoulder to cry on during times of need. The campaign has also won the hearts of stars such as J.K. Rowling, Sir Tom Jones, Sir Cliff Richard, Joanna Lumley, Kate Garraway, Simon Cowell, Spice Girl Gary Horner and Davina McCall. So far, volunteer numbers in the NHS have swelled by a third, to more than 100,000. Helpers will be asked to perform a huge variety of hospital roles, from playing games with children with cancer or ferrying patients to appointments. Last night, 25,409 readers had signed up to help patients in their area in just three weeks since the campaign was launched. Sir Thomas Hughes Hallett, founder of Help Force, hailed the total as another incredible milestone. 
He said it would be some comfort to the thousands of NHS staff working tirelessly over the festive period. He added, as many of us break for Christmas, we should reflect on how many NHS staff will be working to keep our friends and our families safe. Let's all make a resolution to help them next year by joining the incredible 25,000 who have already pledged to the Daily Mail's wonderful Hospital Help Force campaign. A huge thank you and season's greetings to everyone who has already joined already. May the force be with you.